Hello, I'm Xinyang Feng. I'm a group leader at the Max Planck Institute for Problem Research. The group I'm belonging to have special research focus on polymer chemistry and the material sciences, where we direct to different applications across the range of biology, electronic, and energy storage. So we have special research emphasis on the graphing and the graphing based materials, where I currently coordinate the research group and the research topics. So in general, our research topics are divided in several parts. The first research part dealing with the bottom-up chemical synthesis of graphene, graphene nanoribbons, and graphene molecules. So we develop solution synthesis of graphene molecules and ribbons with different sizes, different ages, and different band gaps, which are essentially can be processed from solution by the gas deposition and so on. These materials can be specially used for molecular electronics and organic electronics. And uh, we have recently developed the surface synthesis of graphene nanoribbons with controlling band gap, high quality, and high yield synthesis. And this can never be achieved by the top-down physical method. And uh, once the graphene ribbons can be readily aligned on the surface, we will expect to get a high device performance. And this will hopefully replace the future silicon-based semiconductor industry. The second part of our research concerns the graphene-based materials and the unconventional carbon mat materials, which, which can be used for the electronics and the energy storage. For instance, we have developed a cost-effective graphene-based transparent electron materials with high transparency, high connectivity, and high flexibility. And this can be used as an indimitin oxide replacement in graphene, in organic electronics and uh, uh, graphene electronics, like the liquid crystal display, like the solar cell, and uh, the light emitting dyes. And uh, we also synthesize different graphene based composite materials for en energy storage, like the supercapacitor, battery, the fuel cell, and the photocatalysis. The third part of our research is about the controlling the self-assembly of conjugated molecules and conjugated materials, polymers, graphene, for their self-assembly in solution, in solid state, and on the surface. Like we try to fabricate different nanostructures, like, like, like the nanofibers, nanotubes from conjugated molecules, which will be interesting for nanoelectronics and molecular electronics. And we try to develop the fabrication technique to control the morphology of the conjugated molecules on the surface, which we aim to achieve high performance in a electronic device like the transistors with high mobility and uh, like the solar cell with a high power efficiency. So in addition to my duty work at the Max Planck Institute, I'm currently also developing and establish a research group at the Shanghai Jiao Tong University in China so where our mission is to develop advanced organic materials for electronic and energy storage applications. And all these research fields are based on conjugated and non-conjugated polymers and molecules, graphene and carbon materials. And with a wide application in electronic, like uh, photocatalysis, uh, like the and in, in, in electronic, like for the for like the transistor solar cells, and in, in the energy storage, like the photocatalysis, fuel cell, battery, supercapacitor, and so on. So our eventual goal of research is to integrate advanced organic materials into electronic and energy storage applications, and we hope this can make our future life more flexible, more benign, and more funny.